Good morning Vogue, it's Nikki Victoria here and I welcome you to my very large bathroom. I woke up flawlessly and I will be showing you my skincare and makeup which I don't even need because I already look good. So let's get started. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> today we're pretending we're in a Vogue, Vogue? Today we're pretending we're in a Vogue beauty secrets video. Mm, how exciting. But let's tie up the hair and I will show you what I do for my daily skincare and makeup. So when I get up in the mornings, I have to rinse my face with cold water as most people do to like wake up. And then while I'm making my coffee, I wear these little pixie eye patches, which are my favorite thing in the world. I keep them in the fridge so that they're cold in the morning. And then I'll put on some Maria Badescu lip mask. And I'll also use this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It's like a nice little toner before doing any kind of makeup later on. Stunning. All right, let's pretend these were on for like 10 minutes. <laughs> now moving on to my skincare. First I use the Road Glazing Milk to kind of prep my skin. I watch all of those TikTok like talking get ready with me's and they do their skincare super fast and like <laughs> you know. For some reason it's super satisfying to like put this on. <laughs> Next, I follow up with more road, and this is the glazing fluid. It's getting more cold and dry where I live, so my skin has not been doing the best, and I've been picking at it, which doesn't help either. Next, I use the Caudalie Moisturizing Sorbet. This is kind of like a very light consistency as well. And layering all of the skincare is kind of what will keep us hydrated through those winter months. I forgot this step, but it's the Glow Recipe Pomegranate Peptide Firming Serum, which I usually put on before the survey. Next is the moisturizer, and I'll use this Codly one. This one is one of the best moisturizers I've used. And also makeup applies super well on it. She's hydrated, she's glowy, let's move on to makeup. Okay, so I primed with these two products. This is the Pixie Primer and then the Drunk Elephant Glow Drops. And I'll do just the tiniest bit of each. These like skincare <laughs> hands are, oh, oh, it's a twist. It gives such a nice glow, almost like I'm shimmering. <laughs> my mom would say that this is like a greasy pan look. <laughs> she says that whenever I do my glowy makeup and I'm like, maybe I wanna be a greasy pan. Like, moving on, I don't wear a foundation, but I do wear this BB Beauty Balm. It's by Dr. Jart. It is so good. I've raved about this product to everyone because it kind of feels like skincare, but it still covers up the areas that you don't want to be seen, like my redness and dark circles, things like that. So you only need just a tiny bit because it does do a lot of cover and instantly evens out your skin. See, my skin looks flawless all of a sudden. Then before going on with concealer, I actually started bronzing first and then concealing because I feel like it just makes the overall base look so flawless. So this is the Pearl Beauty Cream Bronzer and they also have this brush which is like perfect for blending and it blends super well so I just go in and kind of layer on how much I want. I like to do some on my eyes as well. Always just remember to blend up when you're doing any kind of contour because it makes your face look so much more lifted. I'll also do some on the nose by kind of like squeezing the brush. And my nose is bumpy on this side so it kind of like never works. <laughs> and now we do the concealer. So this is my one size concealer in the shade medium too. So I'll do just like a bit like this where it lifts. And then I like to kind of hide my smile lines a bit <laughs> and whatever little blemishes as well. Blending with a wet sponge. Then I use this Tower 28 cream blush with this little like blush brush. And this is the shade Beach Please. And I know it's still like a little summery, but I like the orangey blush tones for my skin. And I kind of like stick away from any pink tones. So this is the only one I found that like looks really good. I'll do a little bit on the nose, on the sides, as if I'm contouring. The thing with cream blush is it always disappears in like an hour of wearing it, so I'll usually layer on a bunch and then see how it slowly fades throughout the day. And going back in with a bronzer, just because I like a lot. <laughs> and then this little part as well. Next, I do this Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Flaunt. It is my favorite thing ever. It makes you so glowy. 
it accentuates that greasy pan look <laughs> next i set these creamy products with the charlotte tilbury powder i find it's really important to set with powder especially for creamy products because they can wipe off really easily next i brush through my eyebrows with this spoolie and I used this Benefit brow pencil, which is kind of old, <laughs> I kind of need a new one. So I fill in my little eyebrow bow spot. <laughs> I don't know if like I plucked it when I was younger and it stayed that way. And I'll also kind of like make my eyebrows a little longer because it really... And then to set that in place, I use this Pixie Brow Tamer and just brush up. All right, next I'll use this Fenty Beauty palette and I use the dark brown shade to kind of give myself a little wing and then kind of wipe it out. Next, I curl the lashes. Very essential step, I find. I've been growing them out recently and you can really see them lift. And now my Lancome mascara. This is the best mascara ever. Anything that has like one of those bended brushes is just so good because it gets every single lash and for day makeup i only stick to like the top lashes because the bottom lashes kind of give more like a wispier nighttime look lastly i do fake freckles using this salty face freckle pen i do a couple and then i blend them out to make more freckles this product I found gives the most natural freckles out of all the ones I've tried, so I would highly recommend. And then I also only stick to the sides of my nose instead of like this line to kind of contour with the freckles as well. This definitely looks like a lot of freckles, so I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to add this Pearl Beauty blush, but it's in like the shade Summer Spice, so it almost looks like a bit of a bronzer, but it's not. I'm going to go on the brush and blend over top. Next, I'm going to set all of this with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And lastly, we do the lips. I'm not too much of a lip professional. <laughs> so I'll take this Maybelline Dark Dark Lip Crayon. And I kind of use it as lip liner because I don't have a lip liner. I lost it. And it's like the perfect dark shade. Ugh. And then I do the YSL lipstick in shade 15. And lastly, some Kylie Gloss Drip for lip gloss. This is the Fall in Love shade. It's like a darker pink. All right, so that is my daily makeup and skincare. Thank you so much, Vogue, for having me. <laughs> one day, one day, I promise we will be on Vogue. Just watch. <laughs> If you like the jewelry I'm wearing, don't forget to check out Novi by Nikki. It is my jewelry brand. There's a little discount code in the description box. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!